Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmasters vlog for the environment for the files and gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK and welcome to this Midway update uh, it's been quite a while since I did one of these uh, today it is the 30th of September 2016 and uh, what I have here in front of you is my latest uh, bitsandkits.co.uk order and I also got some um, biddings done on my, the Swedish version of eBay called Tradera so we're gonna go through those things where I, what I have bought. Uh, first of all, we, as you can see here in front of you, there is a lot of armor, so we can begin here. Uh, th these are just simple um, Mark IV from the Betrayal at Kelf. Uh, I felt maybe I should expand by buying a couple of these just to yeah, get, expand my force a little bit. Um, I'm really satisfied with, with this. It might be only one one or two heads from the Betrayed Calf box, which I don't like. But I like the heads. I even ordered three of these um, sergeant's heads. These I'm really, really, uh, really fond of. Um, and let's see, we can go over here. Uh, I've ordered some banners so I can get the proper uh, proper uh, command squad. As you might know from my uh, 2016 July painting challenge that I um, do, I did a word bearers army. One thing that was missing from that army though was a command squad so I'm thinking about using one of these poles for one of those um, and then and maybe the other one I'm gonna use for another army. Currently I'm doing my Emperor Children's command squad so I'm gonna finish that up then go a little bit back to the word bearers and then we continue from there. And then you might be wondering, but but why are you using Mark 7 armor? Isn't that like in, in done after the heresy? Well, yes. If we're gonna be properly anal about it, these are actually Mark 7 armor. But I, I, I might be strict in many senses, but when it comes to kit bashing and, and you have to get what you can, I, you have to wiggle a little bit with it. When it comes to arms, I'm a little bit more liberal, but when it comes to ships, pieces and heads, most definitely the helmets, then I'm really anal about it. But um, legs, uh, I, I think you, legs and chest pieces and, and helmets, those, are, those I think you should be very properly done about. But when it comes to arms and, uh, and perhaps a little bit on the backpacks, you can be a little bit more liberal. We can now move over here, as you can see I have some Mark 7 arms. What I was thinking about is using these for my Mark 5 uh, squad. So they, they are a little bit more okay by using these uh, later Mark armors. Uh, so um, it, it, it can get a pass. Also in the same area I'm going to be using these Raptor arms because I think they are very appropriate for it. They look a bit chaotic uh, or warped or chaos influenced so that they can work for my word bearers actually I think it's a good spot for it moving over here you can see that uh, I bought some orc um, parts I'm thinking about using it for terrain or something like that the same as you can see here from a shadow sword this is the inner parts of a valkyrie here you see me we have the apothecary cat Kit. I'm gonna be discarding the head and perhaps gonna file a little bit on the chest piece and then you could get a word word out of that one. And here we have some command squad upgrades. You can still use them I think for your army if you file them and fix them up a little bit. Then back here we have something that I'm really gonna be excited to do and that's a um, the Magos from the Gene Stealer Cult, which is uh, something that's been released quite recently. So I think I'm actually going to do a video about it, to talk about the, the different army compartments. Uh, but I'm not going to do a Gene Stealer army, I'm just going to use this as a, a warlock or a sorcerer for my uh, for my regular traitor, traitor guard army. So uh, I'm going to just look at him as a mutant, like perhaps a, astropath or um, very strong sorcerer that's the only thing I'm gonna be using this for instead so in case you're wondering next to him we have a dark 
we have or we have a chaplain or a dark apostle or whatever you're gonna call it. Uh, it's from the Betrayal at Calf box also as well. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with this one, but I'm thinking about using him either for my Emperor Children's Army, in the Horserisi one, or if I'm gonna be using him for perhaps my a sense of Horus compartment or perhaps something else. As you can see I'm, I'm really expanding inside the Horus Heresy ter territory so I'm gonna do a lot of things inside there. Uh, and then we're gonna get a sneak peek. I think I've shown these before but in case I haven't you're gonna see them again. My first Emperor Children which I painted and as you can see this is supposed to be uh, Captain uh, Lucius of the 13th company. And this is Saul Tarvis of the 10th company of the Emperor's Children. And as you can see, this one is standing in blood of his enemies, and he's standing on dead rubble of Istvan Free. Uh, there are some faults with them, and but I, overall I'm quite satisfied with, with their results and how they turned out. Mm. Uh, I can give us also a small sneak peek as you can see here. Here are my Emperor's Children, which I'm currently working on. But yeah, so this is more or less what I got planned out, and as I've said earlier, I got a lot of things at university at right, uh, right now at the moment. I'm currently out on uh, what they call internship as a teacher at a school, where I'm gonna fo go around following another uh, actual teacher, learn from him, and then perhaps hold uh, some of uh, my lessons of my own. So, so that's what I'm currently doing at the moment, which means that uh, most of the day is going to be about going away to that school, so I won't be getting much time for uh, hobbing. But I'm going to try and get some done this weekend, perhaps, and I'm also going to get try and get some videos up for you. But yeah, so that's more or less everything I had for this Midway update. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to reach subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos. And also leave comments on things I'm doing good so I keep on doing them. And leave negative critique on things I'm doing bad so need to improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if it could be interesting, entertaining or simply inspiring. But other than that, thank you very much for watching this uh, Midway update. Death to the False Emperor. Bye!